fascinating story here about how the news dies. This uh, down, down in Alabama, Alabama Power and uh, Florida Power and Light, two big power companies in Alabama and Florida, hired a political consulting firm. And this political consulting firm then essentially bribed six newspapers in Alabama and Florida to give fluff coverage to these utilities. Uh, David Falkenflick uh, from uh, NPR and uh, Mario Azia and Miranda Green of Floodlight found uh, the, that the power companies had hired this company called Matrix LLC and that paid these six sites, according to this report, Yellowhammer News, Alabama Political Reporter, Alabama Today, The Capitalist, Florida Politics, and Sunshine State News, um, almost a million dollars between 2013 and 2020. According to the report, quote, Matrix sought to encourage much coverage was secretly driven to ensure much coverage was secretly driven by the priorities of its clients. Payments flowed as the utilities in Florida and Alabama fought efforts to incorporate more clean energy into their electric grids, a fight they are still waging. Alabama Power has the largest coal-fired power plant in America. It produces the most carbon dioxide emissions of any single source in the United States. Alabama Power, this one power plant. And yet they received, quote, overwhelmingly positive coverage, end quote, in the three Alabama sites linked to Matrix during the seven-year period. Uh, Terry Dunn, who was a Republican, who was ele elected to the Alabama Public Service Commission, said he was going to uh, protect consumers. He was going to be a good Republican. He was going to be a conservative. He was, you know, uh, back like Eisenhower, right? So the uh, fossil fuel industry lobbyist approached him and said, you can keep your $100,000 a year job if you, uh, quote, remain a team player. And he said, no, I'm going to go after the power company. And guess what? The, all these newspapers, uh, one 2013 headline in the right-wing Yellowhammer News claimed that Democrats embraced this guy. Another by Alabama political reporter, editor-in-chief Bill Brill accused Don of, quote, using the state's utility rates for political gain. So here, these newspapers that were being paid by this PR firm on behalf of these two dirty utilities in, in Alabama and Florida are trash-talking the Republican member of the utility commission that oversees the utilities because he dares to call them out. And as of this moment, according to NPR, Alabama Power is one of the nation's most profitable utilities. Why? Well, they're burning cheap coal. You can't give coal away right now. And they're the largest single source of carbon dioxide emissions in the country. And they've got six newspapers in their bag, you know, on, in the bag, on their side. So the, uh, you know, there's a piece about this over at Common Dreams. It's titled, News Sites Took Nearly a Million Dollars from Consultant Pushing Power Company's Agenda. If you know anybody in the news business, I mean, they're, they're hoping that more and more newspapers will get this. Um, uh, this one, one reporter said, uh, if you're a professional journalist, I am begging you to speak out against packed people and practices described in this story. A free press relies on self-regulation. Defend our effing profession.